Wedge game spin is so important. Getting fit for the right golf ball will make a huge difference. Hey golfers, today you're gonna find out which tightless golf ball you should be playing in your golf bag, specifically for your wedge game. So today's video is gonna focus on wedge game spin and feel of each golf ball. Tightless offers eight different golf balls and we're gonna test from your more premium golf ball all the way down to your more value golf balls and we're gonna really compare the differences. For today's test, I'm going to hit a whole bunch of wedge shots with the exact same club speed so we can really notice the differences in spin between each golf ball. Let's hit some shots. So let's first talk about the more value golf balls that Titleist has to offer. So this is going to be a range for those golf balls from $23 a dozen with the true feel all the way up to $40 a dozen with the tour speed. So let's see if we notice any differences right off the bat. So first thing, my club speed, exactly the same with all four golf balls. So this is going to be a very, very conclusive data to talk about. So first thing, if we take a look here, one thing I noticed is the ball speed. With the Tour Soft, the ball speed actually was the fastest out of them all. And actually, kind of interesting there. So you notice the efficiency number was a little bit higher. So Tour Soft had a little bit more ball speed to it, and it also had a little bit more spin. So that stood out to me right off the bat. If we look at the other end of the spectrum, the velocity. The velocity actually had the lowest amount of ball speed and also had the lowest amount of spin it was significantly less spin. So we're talking about 1,000 RPMs less spin with the velocity than the other three balls. So the velocity and the true feel are supposed to be your more lower spinning golf balls. If we look at this chart, we can see the velocity was the lowest spinning ball. The true feel was the next lowest spinning golf ball. But then you'll notice the tour speed and the tour soft, those are supposed to be your mid spin ball. So they're supposed to spin a little bit more and they did exactly that. So that definitely stands out to me. I want to also touch on feel a little bit. So I noticed that the tour speed kind of felt just a little bit softer off the face. The tour speed and also the tour soft. The true feel was also pretty soft as well. The ve velocity felt a little bit firmer. So the velocity was a little firmer feel. It didn't quite maybe have the ball speed that I was maybe expecting out of it in my wedge game. But it's not always about distance with your wedges, but it's kind of interesting to notice a little bit less ball speed. The spin rate was the standout to me, was the velocity. If you've got a player that needs to reduce spin and wants a value golf ball, the velocity is a great option. But then right across the board, if we look at the true feel for a value golf ball that is $23 a dozen, so it's the cheapest of all tightness options, we'll notice how the spin rate was pretty good. It kept up with the spin, the ball speed was pretty good. So I would say the true feel is a great bonus find with regards to the value of golf balls. Let's move on to the more premium golf balls. So we've got your Titleist Pro V1, Pro V1X, Pro V1X Left Dash, and the Titleist AVX. The premium balls. So this is where the money's at for me. So these golf balls, you are gonna pay around about $50 a dozen for them, but for good reason. The feel is exceptionally good. Speaking on feel, the one thing that really stood out to me was the Pro V1X Left Dash. This is actually the first time I've had the chance to hit that golf ball. I was astounded with how firm for a premium golf ball it feels. So it's a very, very firm feeling premium golf ball. Um, talking about feel also, so ranking these premium golf balls from say the softest to the firmest. So first off, the AVX. The AVX felt extremely soft off the face. Very nice, pure, soft feel off the face. Then it would have been the Pro V1. The Pro V1 felt nice and soft as well. I noticed a little bit firmer with the Pro V1X. 
And as I mentioned, that, that left dash ball, very, very firm off the face. But really, what does all that mean? So let's take a look at the numbers. So first thing, talking about spin. So spin is really important. I would expect the more premium golf balls, they're designed to spin a lot, for short game especially. So the, if we take a look at the spin rate numbers, you'll see they were all in the 9,000 mark with regards to spin. The golf ball that did spin the most is the Pro V1X. That golf ball also is designed to spin the most. Highest spin rate at 98.65. I actually had one shot there that actually did get a 10,000 RPMs of spin. Uh, at the other end of the spectrum, if we look at the lowest spin, the AVX. The AVX is a softer feeling golf ball and it's definitely gonna spin a little bit less. Then, if you take a look at the other Pro V1, Pro V1Xs, you notice the ranking. So we'll notice that the uh, Pro V1 and the Pro V1X left dash, which is kind of spinning around about the same, but you can definitely notice with the Pro V1X that the ball was definitely spinning more. So if you're looking at more premium golf balls, now left dash aside, that's gonna fit a very, very select small market of golfers. The AVX is going to be your wow lower spitting, softer feeling golf ball. The Pro V1 is gonna be in between the AVX and the Pro V1X. So it's gonna be kinda of in between with regards to spin and feel. And then the Pro V1X is gonna be your highest spinning golf ball that's also gonna feel a little bit firmer as well. So what does this actually mean? So it's really important to pay attention to the carry distance and the total distance. So with the velocity spinning at 8100 RPM spin, we'll notice that the carry distance was 104.7 going 106.3. So that's almost two yards of rollout. At the other end of the spectrum, if we scroll up and take a look at the Pro V1X, for example, we'll notice the spin rate was 98.65, so quite significantly more spin. The carry distance was 105.3, total distance of 106. So it stopped a lot faster. It stopped within basically half a yard. And tour professionals, they want to stop the ball on the dime. They usually don't want to rip the ball back unless they absolutely need to. They just want that ball to land, stop, and go the exact yards that they're wanting to do. So there is a reason why they play a premium golf ball on top of the field differences as well. And you'll notice there is some quite significant differences considering I'm only hitting the ball 100 yards with my 56 degree wedge. So make sure when you come in for your next fitting that you do discuss the golf ball. The golf ball fitting is free with a fitting here at Second Swing. We would love to educate you more on what particular golf ball you should be playing.